Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP YouTube channel. My name is Graham Parker and in today's video we are going to revisit cow 812. She has been extremely sore so I want to take a look at how she's progressing, what the future holds for her if anything and give you a little insight into my world. If you like these kind of videos at all or interest you in any way then think about subscribing guys and enjoy the rest of the video. So we're back for 8.12, uh, she's in a pen, and to be honest she's looking a bit better but she looks a bit dirty because she's in this pen. Normally cows are in sawdust and nice clean beds and although this is a very clean stall that she's in, because they're lying in straw it sticks to the sides and they can look a little bit untidy. So I actually think she is looking better, she's put a bit of weight on, hopefully she's walking slightly better. Come on lass, come on. Go on. Down. She's not keen, which doesn't surprise me. Come on! She won't feel the same for me. I've got this picture in my mind. It's just the two of us. Just the two of us. But I know so this here has completely healed and this has been insulted slightly by the edge of that block. So we're going to sort that out and the future is bright for 812. So as you can see, this ulcer here has been further insulted by the corner of this digging in, which I didn't think it would do last time, but there you go, I'm slightly wrong. This has completely healed, however, and she can bear weight on this fully, so she's really not feeling pain on this foot now at all, especially after we've taken away this corner of that TP block there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to wrap it with Embryonics Magical Paste, and that will be taken off in three or four days and she should be miles better on this foot but we need to see about the other foot. Now as you can see or as I hope you can see I put this on really really loosely because that is not there to keep it clean, it's there purely to keep that paste in place and make sure it penetrates the wound properly. So here we go, hopefully you'll see that there is a vast improvement from the last day we trimmed her. This is all starting to granulate and re a new tissue, new horn is starting to form. Here it's granulating, but not perfectly. Over here, this lesion is almost completely healed. It should be by the time we see her next time, which is two weeks time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these hard edges, which is called debriding. Because these hard edges of this horn are insulting the new horn growth. And they're causing her a little bit of pain because they're squeezing on it every time she walks. We're gonna wrap it with embryonics paste. So this is me just thinning out the edges to provide a bit of flexibility around that sore point on her foot so that it doesn't squeeze every time she walks.
So what you saw there is it's really starting to granulate and grow back in on this outer claw here. This inner claw is almost heal, healed, but I don't want to risk not having it fully healed by leaving it open. So what we've done is we've used the iodine paste from Enrionics and then what we're going to do is leave this very loose wrap on for three or four days. Dairy men will actually take that off. She'll stay in the straw and then I'm going to ask them to move out to the general population. So in other words, back in with the rest of the herd. And the reason for that is the straw might actually start to hinder her healing process. Because this is slightly open, it's slightly open, the straw might actually be really aggravating it every time it's, she stands on it. And I think there's sufficient height in that heel there now for her to be able to walk on that without any pain. So I'm really, really hopeful for Cow 812 now. Um, I'll be honest, I thought it was going to come here and have to tell you all some really bad news. But this farmer's perseverance is clearly paying off and she is much more... Look, danger, danger zone. Oh, that was comical. <laughs> so this farmer's resilience and uh, patience is really paying off, especially for 812. I know she's not looking fantastic because she's been lying in straw. She's a little bit dirty, but she is much, much more comfortable than she was the last day we saw her. So let's get her out of the crush and see how she's going to walk now. She will be a little bit dodgy because I've had her legs up in the air, but hopefully she's watching. Yeah? So hopefully she's walking much better than she was. Good girl, go on. That's it, that's it. Good girl. On you go. So here is what will seem like a total change of topic. I've got a dog. I've got two dogs. The youngest one, who's a puppy, has been to the vets three times since we got him. Six months ago, seven months ago. Now, he is my little baby, he's my total prince. He's awesome. He lives in the house. He eats the best, literally the best food there is. He eats steak every day, as well as dry food. We really look after him. He's had all his immunizers, but things have still gone wrong. His breeding is perfect. We were very, very careful not to have a flat-faced Frenchie because they can have breathing problems. So we researched that. We researched um, his tail length, all these kind of things. We really, really did do our homework on this little guy because we don't want him to get ill. But the fact remains is he still got ill. And what are we doing about that? Well, he's been taken to the vets, he's been looked after, we've spent money on him. And the case is the same here. There are 350 cows on this dairy farm. That one cow, cow 812, is the only cow that is in any sort of condition like that at all. Today we've trimmed 30 cows and we put one block on and the block was only put on to make sure that that cow doesn't go lame because I thought she was maybe on the edge of becoming lame. So we've got 350 cows here. One of those cows is quite lame. The rest are perfect. That one cow that looks quite bad and that appears in the PETA videos, yeah, it does look bad. It's not nice for her. But the farmer has had the vet out to her. The farmer has had me visit her three or four times now. Four times, yeah, four times. Uh, the farmer has given her pain relief. She's constantly on pain relief. She's had antibiotics in case she's had any sort of infection. And what's happening is she's starting to come round, she's starting to get much better, and hopefully she will completely regain her health. I was worried that there was a problem with her cycle actually because she was walking so badly last time. As you see, she's walking much better this time, and next time that I visit her will be two weeks' time, and hopefully she will be better again. So the point of this whole rambling is basically you see cows in videos and yeah they can look bad and there are definitely bad dairy farms out there but predominantly in Scotland these cows are really well looked after they are in a lot of cases the farmers pride and joy they are um, a business element so they're very valuable the farmers want their cows to be as healthy as possible so that they can make money for them it's the way of the world and these cows are very very well looked after so anyway, the future is bright for Cow 12. I'm going to return here in two weeks' time and hopefully she'll be back in with the rest of the herd and looking a lot cleaner because she won't be on that straw bed anymore. The straw bed is the best place for her right now. It just makes her look a little untidy. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you're looking forward to the update on Cow 12 in two weeks' time. Cheers. Bye.